there, everyone. Are you interested in college basketball? Well, I have worked on creating an algorithm that predicts the winners of college basketball games. And it was doing okay. And I was just checking in on it because I haven't really looked at it for several days or done anything with it. And I was just updating and updating and looking and see how it's doing. And what's kind of cool is, is you can browse and figure out how many games you would have won or lost over here. Um, it's, it, there's a lot of information I'm not going to ask you to understand it all completely. But the point is, is I was trying to figure out if there's a good way that it's going to be able to predict winners to be able to bet it. Uh, and over here is a way of betting things on the left. If you pick the top seven games that are showing up over here um, based on this little ranking that we have set up, how would you have done? Would you have won any money? You could see that in this situation, if you took the top seven teams of Kent State through East Tennessee State over here, um, you win six and lose one, but you lose money making a round robin multi parlay type bet on this because the lines are so bad, right? So I was trying to think, well, is there any way to pick off the best lines in here and get the most wins, if, you know, if we're going back in time to make this the most profitable? And this is really just doing some analysis. You can write some artificial intelligence programming when you understand how this data is organized to try to test things out to see what's the best. But something popped up today just messing around and I wanted to talk about it. So I created up a home or away slicer, which means I care about who's home or away because we originally developed this for the March Madness tournament that was, that was figuring out the quality of teams. I wasn't taking into account home and away. And I noticed that look what happens when we show just the away games. Just the away games, you've got some losing going on up here, even at these high strength levels. And it's because there's definitely home field advantage in basketball. And I wasn't thinking about how important that really is. Because look what happens when we go home. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of winning. Um, that's a perfect 7-0. Now you don't make very much money because the lines are, like we said, awful. But you can start to put thresholds on the amount of lines and see how profitable it still was. Like, say we don't want to bet anything that's worse than 1,000, because that's just ridiculous, right? You can go in here to value filters, and you can say greater than. We want a money line that's greater than negative 1,000, which means all these negative 3,000, negative 4,000, negative 2,500 are going to disappear from this list over here, and they do. And we can see that you don't win the top seven games, you win the top five games, then you lose Texas State, San Antonio. So in this case, you lose a little bit of money putting a threshold on that. Um, but you would have got paid if you almost won seven. So it's, what, what I found uh, intriguing here, and why I really want to go back in time as well. If home and away really matter, like look at the difference of both of these when you're going up the list, you see these losses at the top. There's that was a really good day. But uh there's a loss. It's an away game. It's away games that are losing. And so that, that's obvious, right? So let's try just clicking home and let's look what it looks like. Here's a winning day yesterday, if you'd bet it. The day before, another perfect day. And this time you win 162% on your money. Um, you don't lose until this game all the way, which is however many games down that is, nine games down. So you're, you're good here, but this is a minus 6,000. So maybe you ignore that one. You still would have sneaked and got... A better payout actually if you'd not taken the negative six thousand but you would have had to take the negative one thousand there the day before you go five and two it looks like and you lose about half your investment day before you go six and one and you lose because of these crazy negative eight thousand negative five thousands oof there's a negative one thousand that loses by the way um, the point is, is I'm seeing a lot of healthiness when you're looking at just the home games, although this day was a really good day all around.
Visa Way is actually one, but they're huge favorites. There's no way. I just I know that it's better to just do home games because they seem to be more reliable. So let's take a look at today, five minutes into this video. Um, there's a ton of games on the 8th, and I'll show you how you can browse this even though we don't have lines in here yet. So the way to do that is to look at all games, home and away. But we know we're going to focus more on the home games. So we don't have any money lines in here yet. But what we can tell you is that it thinks Louisiana State over Northwestern State is the strongest pick of the day. I'm sure there's going to be no money line or something. San Diego State over San Jose. You would, you would want to take these home teams or the ones you'd want to mess with and the ones that have the high power percentage. So things that you see at the top of the list, if you can get them, I don't know what the lines are going to be, but this is the order. So you can also then sort this by descending by power and that will to also see who's still up at the list here really high. San Diego State, Michigan State over Rutgers. That these are really the order that these games should go in, except here, because Oklahoma State versus Wichita State is a little closer, even though Oklahoma State is a pretty strong team. So I don't know. I think this is really interesting to, to mess around with the home games, and I would say um, that these are the picks that you'd want to think about on Sunday. So that's an update on the basketball file. If you're interested in this, contact me and I'll probably sell it to you <laughs> um, or give you some information. I don't know. I don't update it all the time because this is not my life, but um, it's enjoyable to just mess around and try to figure out if you can come up with a program that wins and then just let it go. Um, because to see something like this, that's descending by power, to be able to sort this thing descending by marginal win percentage, and understand that when you click home, you're going to be getting all these winners in a row. Can't bet the games with no money line. We're not talking about spreads here. Let's get rid of the non-money line games. There's a sweet spot of where to take it, um, but this negative 330 hurts losing this game. Anyway, all right, interesting stuff. We're out for now.